Good day YouTube, this is Near Nexus here with Tech for Talk Tuesday, but instead it's on Wednesday. And I'll tell you exactly why it's on Wednesday, because one, I actually forgot. Bad me. Two, at a request of James Yu-Gi-Oh fan, or James YGO fan, 1993, um, I'm going to be covering more than one card for Tech for Talk Tuesday. Um, so it's taken me a little bit longer to prepare as well. Plus I was doing some team business last night and by the time I got home I was really tired, etc. So yeah, this is Tech for Talk Tuesday on a Wednesday. Um, this shouldn't happen again. If it does, I'm terribly sorry. Okay, moving on. Today we are going to be talking about our first card, Chaos Trap Hole. And the second card we should be talking about it's Fiend's Chain. Fiend's Chain is more splashable in the main deck than Chaos Trap Hole. Chaos Trap Hole is more of a side deck card that you side in against certain decks, e.g. Dark Worlds, Light Swarms, and Agents. Whereas Fiend's Chain, you can splash into any deck as a random tech. So, without further ado, let's get rolling. Okay, so here we have Chaos Trap Hole and Venus Chain. What Chaos Trap Hole does is you pay 2,000 life points, yes, 2,000 as a cost, same as Solemn Warning, to negate the summon of a light or dark monster and remove it from play. Now, this is why you play this card over Solemn Warning against Dark Worlds. Because if you play Solemn Warning against the Greffa, it's going to come back. You play Chaos Trap Hole. Been a counter trap, only another counter trap can get around it, e.g., Dark Bribe, Seven Tools, and Solemn Judgment. Um, we'll get around this card. If not, the Graffa is removed from play. Venus Chain reads Select one face up effect monster on the field. Its effect is negated and it cannot attack. If it is destroyed, destroy this card. So there you go. Now, I'm going to be talking to you about some monsters. And uh, some monsters that this uh, works against. First of all, these three notable boss monsters. BLS, Chaos Sorcerer and Dark Arm Dragon. Now, Chaos Trap Hole can negate the summon of any of these. Chaos Trap Hole, as a ruling, can only negate initial summons. Normal summon, initial special summon, only. You can't negate a monster reborn that would revive, I don't know, an Archibald Christia. If that's even revival for the graveyard, I do not know. Um, but yes, only initial summons. So, all these, all these three, are initial summons. Same with these two, Gauze and Cyber Dragon. They are initial special summons. And it will negate and remove them from play. So, if someone tries to drop a BLS on your ass, you can flip Chaos Trap Hole. <laughs> someone drops... Um, Dark Arm. Flip Chaos Trap Hole. It's that easy. At uh, a mere cost of 2,000 life points, you can remove from play these three boss monsters, these annoying cards, Cyber Dragon and Gauze, and other such annoying cards such as Archer Christia, Master Hyperion, and Grapha of the Dark World. Now, this also, Chaos Trap Hole also works against Synchro. And Exceed monsters, such as number 39 Utopia and Anna Justice Catasta. Now, um, Exceeds and Synchro summons are classed as initial special summons, so Chaos Trap Hole can negate them. But also, ooh, Chaos Trap Hole can negate tribute summons, such as Kaius. Um, so they can tribute their monster for Kaius, he goes to the graveyard, they go Kaius. You play Chaos Trap Hole. Chaos is removed from play, its effect is not applied, and their monster is still in the graveyard that they attributed. So, yeah, I really like Chaos Trap Hole, especially against Dark World, because they're always going to be trying to get rid of your back row as fast as possible. So, yeah, that's a good tech against Dark World. Now, as we move on to Finch Chain, I'm going to use the same examples but in a different way. Now, these three boss monsters, they all have effects. 
BLS has the effect to uh, remove a monster in any position from play. It also has the ability to, when it destroys monster by battle, to attack again. Now, I wouldn't recommend applying Venus Chain on its secondary effect unless you really want a monster to go into the graveyard. Or it's attacking a marshmallow, which is pretty funny. So, I would recommend playing Venus Chain beforehand, when as soon as they drop the BLS. Chaos Sorcerer. Now, Chaos Sorcerer on its own is not as big a threat as its big brother BLS. But, it's a pretty cool artwork. And it's been around for a lot longer than BLS has. They come out and both Innovation and Chaos, except this is a gold version, both came out in Invasion and Chaos, but in 2005, BLS got hit by the ban list and has been banned up until now. Whereas Chaos Sorcerer, its younger brother, has been on and off the ban list for many, many years. So, when they special on Chaos Sorcerer, it's not always a big problem. You can also use Chaos Trap Hole to get rid of it if you are running that with Phoenix Chain, but it's not always such a bad thing. It depends what they do with it. Now, they may just try and synchro with it, or they may try and remove something from play, or they might try and attack. They try and attack or remove something from play, you chain your fingers chain. Unless you want your crap to be removed, which I do not recommend. Although, word to the wise, Venus Chain will stay on the field if the monster is not destroyed. You have to destroy the monster for Venus Chain to be destroyed. And if they chain MST to your Venus Chain, because Venus Chain is a continuous trap, it, um, Venus Chain will get destroyed and its effect will never be really applied and the monster will be free to attack or apply its effect. So, um, Moving on to Dark Hunt Dragon, it's also an initial special summon. Uh, its effect is to um, remove from play a dark monster in the graveyard to destroy one card on the field. It has been known for its deadliness, such as in the Telly Dead era. Now, when they drop Dark Hunt Dragon, you chain things chain. They cannot chain the effect of Dark Hunt Dragon. If you already have things chain applied to something, then Dark Arm Dragon can blow it up if they summon it after Venus Chain has already been equipped to a monster. But I recommend, although you can run three Venus Chain and three Chaos Trap Hole, I really only recommend two Chaos Trap Hole unless you're really having that trouble, much trouble at your locals or at our regionals or where, wherever against light and dark decks. Venus Chain, however, you can put in a one, you can put in a two, hell, you can even throw in three if you want. But I wouldn't recommend three. One or two is pretty good. Um, so, you play Phoenix Chain and the Dark Arm Dragon, they can't use Dark Arm Dragon's to effect to blow up the Phoenix Chain that's equipped to it. Because its effect is null and void, and that's it. So, yeah, you can also use it to negate Utopia's effect. The ability to, which has the ability to detach one of its Ixies materials and negate an attack. You chain Venus Chain, and they still detach as a cost, but the attack goes through. Same with Justice Cataster, although its effect happens before damage calculation, if he attacks a non-dark monster, it will be destroyed. So you flip your Venus Chain, and that thing is stuck in its tracks, but do not think it's over, because they will more than likely synchro with the Justice Cataster. Although, if you're going to use Phoenix Chain, you got to get rid of that Katasa fast before they have a way to get rid of that Phoenix Chain. Whenever you activate Phoenix Chain, I recommend you have a backup plan or contingu contingency plan afterwards, e.g. you're setting up for a bigger play. Now, while Phoenix Chain is equipped to Katasta, its effect is negated and you can attack it with non-dark monsters and destroy it by battle, inflicting, inflicting battle damage. So, if you've got something that, that can run over 2-2, two, two, I recommend using it when you flip your Fiendish Chain. So, also, Fiendish Chain works brilliantly against Caius and Judgment Dragon. Judgment Dragon I absolutely detest and hate, um, because it is like Dark Arm Dragon, except more broke. 
how the fuck this fucker made it to three is beyond me. Although I have a sneaky suspicion it was something to do with promoting Legendary Collection 2 where they re-released a bunch of Light Swan stuff. Damn you Konami marketing. So, they tribute summon Kaius. They go activate effect to remove from play one card on the field. If they select your fiendish chain, chain it. It will not be removed from play because it's an immediate chain link. And as we all know, chain links work in reverse. The first effect applied is the last effect to resolve. So, the first effect to be applied is Caius. You chain Venus chain, its effect is negated, it can't attack, therefore its effect cannot resolve. So there you go. Um, Judgment Dragon, they pay a thousand as a cost. It is a cost to pay a thousand for Judgment Dragon. Then you flip the Fiendish Chain, you got to get over 3k, but if you can get it into defence mode, it's only 2-6 defence. Just saying. But yes, Fiendish Chain and Chaos Trap Pole are two very useful, very versatile cards, especially in this ca Chaos format. And um, if you have people where you are imitating Courtney Waller's YCS Kansas City Chaos deck, I recommend using these cards, because this can screw up majority of Chaos decks. I've been Ian Excess on the Team Wasp on UK channel. It's been Tech for Tuesday and on Wednesday. Sunny up. Bye.